temperature of steam during condensation process is always constant. So please explain why this temperature of steam remains constant. Also tell us how to use Molyer chart as well as steam table to find out the different values. To understand why the temperature of steam remains constant in the condenser, we have to first understand the whole working cycle of steam power plant. In boiler, steam is getting generated and it is supplied to the turbine at high pressure and at high temperature. So in turbine, isentropic expansion process is taking place and the steam is getting converted into low pressure and low temperature. So at this condenser, at this entrance point, there is the water vapor mixture is getting entered and here is the cooling water that is circulated in the condenser. Now, which process is taking place in the condenser? So in condenser, the full mixture of this water as well as steam is getting converted into saturated water and the phase change process is taking place and during this phase change process the heat is released and it is absorbed by this cooling water so we can say that here the there is the change in enthalpy but the temperature remains same and here the water vapor mixture is getting entered and at the exit point there is the saturated water is getting there and again it is supplied to the boiler through this feed pump. Now we will solve one example to find out the different values by using the Molyer chart as well as steam table. First I will read what is the given problem. The steam at 100 bar and 500 degree celsius is supplied to a steam turbine of 30 megawatt capacity. The vacuum maintained in the condenser is 71 cm of Hg when the barometer reads 76 cm of Hg. The work developed is equivalent to isentropic heat drop during expansion in the turbine. The steam coming out of turbine is condensed in the surface condenser using river water for cooling. The rise in temperature of cooling water is limited to 10 degree Celsius. The temperature of water at the inlet of condenser is 20 degree Celsius. Assuming the following density of water 1080 kg per meter cube, specific heat 4.6 kJ per kg degree Celsius, the condenser comes out of condenser as saturated liquid. Find the mass of steam supplied to the turbine per hour, capacity of pump to circulate water, the heat transfer area of condenser if the overall heat transfer coefficient is 400 watt per meter square degree celsius neglect the heat losses in the system so this was the given question let us first understand given data with the help of diagram initial condition of steam is given at 100 bar and 500 degree celsius so i will write here so this is the condition of steam before entering into the turbine then the capacity of turbine is 30 megawatt it is also given then the process is taking place expansion process is isentropic process in the turbine water temperature at inlet so here in the condenser water temperature at inlet is 20 degree celsius and the rise in temperature is 10 degree celsius so what is the water temperature at outlet that is 30 degree Celsius. Then density of water is given 1080 kilogram per meter cube specific heat of water 4.6 kilojoule per kilogram degree Celsius and overall heat transfer coefficient is also given 400 watt per meter square degree Celsius. Now we will first study how to use the Molyer chart to find out the enthalpies during the expansion process in the turbine. This is the Molyer diagram. Now if we observe here enthalpy and entropy is plotted on this diagram. Here is entropy S is given in kilojoule per Kelvin kilogram and on the vertical line enthalpy is given. Now we have to 
first understand at the initial condition of steam is at 100 bar and 500 degree celsius so we have to first look at where is the pressure given so here is 500 bar 200 bar 100 bar so this is the line for the 100 bar pressure and temperature is given 500 degree celsius so if we observe these are the lines which shown with this green color that is for the temperature 800 degree celsius 700 degree celsius and here is 500 degree celsius so we will first locate the point for the initial condition of steam so first we will select here 100 bar pressure line and temperature is 500 degree Celsius. So here is the 500 degree Celsius and this line is 100 bar. So here is the point. Now isentropic expansion process is taking place. So we have to find out what is the final pressure. So final pressure is 0 0.068 bar. So we have to now find out where is the pressure line of 0 0.068. Now here is 0 0.01 bar. Here is 0 0.02345. 3, so here is 0 0.05 bar. So in between this 0 0.05 and 0 0.1, there is the 0. Uh, 068 bar pressure line. Now, isentropic expansion is taking place. That means entropy remains constant. So, if we observe here on this horizontal line, entropy is shown. So, entropy remains constant. That means we have to draw here one vertical line. So, again, we will select here one line and we will draw vertical line through this. So we have to locate the exact vertical line and we have to extend this line up to 0 0.068 bar. So here is the line with 0 0.05. So above that, there is 0 0.068 bar. So first, we have to show that. So here is approximately, it is 0 0.068 bar. Now we have to find out the enthalpy. So enthalpy at point one. So initial condition we will say here as the enthalpy at point one. So I will draw here one horizontal line. So I will choose here the different color for to, to draw the horizontal line. So here this is the line. So if we observe, we have to locate here the what is the exact value for this point on this enthalpy? So enthalpy is given kilojoule per kilogram. So it is below 3500. So it exact value is 3389 kilojoule per kilogram. Now in the same way, after the isentropic expansion, we will find out the enthalpy. So again, we will draw here one horizontal line. And now we have to find out the exact value. So after the expansion, we will say that suffix 2, H2 is equal to 2054 kilojoule per kilogram. Now this is about the enthalpy. Now if we observe here this point, that is after the expansion, this point 2 is not on the saturated line. So where is the saturated line? So if we observe this dark red line is the saturation line. So we can say that the at point two there is liquid as well as or we can say water plus vapor mixture. So what is the value of dryness fraction? So if we observe this red lines indicates the dryness fraction that is 0 0.080, 0 0.85, 0 0.90. So if we observe here, here is 0 0.75. So it is in between 0 0.75 and 0 0.80. So exact value of dryness fraction at point 0.2, that is x2 is equal to 0 0.782. So these are the all values that we can find out with the help of Molier diagram.
Now we will locate the point 1 and point 2. So point 1 is where the steam condition entering in the turbine and at this point 1 what is the enthalpy that is H1 is 3389 kilojoule per kilogram and this is the value from the Molière chart. And now we will locate the point 2. So it is at the exit point of the turbine. So here is the point 2. And enthalpy at point 2 after the isentropic expansion H2 is equal to 2054 kilojoule per kilogram. Now we have to find out what is the mass of steam supplied. So how to find out the mass of steam supplied to the turbine. Here the capacity is given 30 megawatt. So formula is mass of steam supplied ms multiplied by the enthalpy difference h1 minus h2 which is equal to 30 into 1000 that is megawatt we have to convert it into kilowatt. So when we calculate this we will put here the value of h1 and h2 then ms is equal to 22.5 kilogram per second. So this is the answer of first question. Now we will calculate what is the pressure in condenser. It is given that the vacuum in condenser 71 cm of Hg and barometric reading it is 76 cm of Hg. So how to calculate the pressure in condenser? So when there is no air leakage then we have to take the barometric reading or it is also called as atmospheric pressure minus vacuum in the condenser. So it is PS. So 76 minus 71 that is 5 cm of Hg. Now we have to take this value of pressure in bar. So here multiplication factor 0.01359. So when we multiply this then we will get the pressure in bar that is 0.068 bar. Now we will understand the condensation process with the help of the different values. So here we have value of enthalpy H2 2054 kilojoule per kilogram. So at the outlet of turbine at point 2 enthalpy H2 is there and this value of enthalpy H2 is nothing but enthalpy of water as well as vapor mixture. And in during the condensation process this vapor or we can say steam is getting converted into water. And at the outlet here the saturated water is there. So what is the enthalpy of saturated water? So all this fluid is in the liquid phase. So here we can say that enthalpy of this saturated water is HF2. And now we have to find out the value of HF2 at the outlet of the condenser. So how to find out? Now we know that what is the pressure in the condenser? 0 0.068 bar. So at this pressure we have enthalpy H2 from the Molière chart and we have to find out the value of HF2. So we will refer here the steam table. So steam table for the pressure 0 0.068 bar. So if we observe here saturated water and steam pressure table. Now here the water. Fluid is at saturated water. So at this pressure we will get the value of HF2. It is already given in the table. So pressure table that is inside the bracket pressure is mentioned. We have to find out where is 0 0.068. But it is not given. That is 0 0.060 is given and 0 0.070 is given. Then how to find out what is the value of HF2 at this point 0 0.068. So we will take here the difference. Now instead of 0 0.070 I will take 70 into 10 raised to 3. So in between this 60 and 70 I will take the difference of the pressure as well as difference of the enthalpy values that is HF values for regarding these pressures. So 0 0.070 minus 0 0.060. So I will multiply here with 10 raised to 3. So 70 into 10 raised to 3 minus 60 into 10 raised to 3 divided by now here 0 0.068 bar for which we have to find out the enthalpy value. So I will take 68 into 10 raised to 3 minus 60 into 10 raised to 3. So all this 10 raised to 3 is getting cancelled from numerator and denominator. Now on the right hand side we will take the difference of the enthalpy value for water. So for this 6 here 70 minus 60 is there. So enthalpy at 70 is 163.4 minus 
divided by enthalpy at 0.068 bar so that is unknown so we will consider here as a x minus uh, enthalpy at the 60 bar it is 151.5 so here on the left hand side 10 divided by 8 is equal to 11.9 divided by x minus 151.5 so when we cross multiply this we will get the value of x 161.02. So this value of x is nothing but the value of enthalpy of water at this outlet. So HF2 is equal to 161.02. So this value of x is for, so if we observe value of x is for the enthalpy for this pressure 0 0.068 bar. So HF2 value that we get 161.02. Now we will apply here the formula that is heat lost by steam is equal to heat gained by water. So during the condensation process all the steam is getting converted into water and heat is released by the steam. So here heat lost by steam is equal to heat gained by water. So here is the cooling water that is circulated. So this temperature is gained by this cooling water. So how to calculate the heat lost by steam that is the mass of the steam multiplied by the enthalpy difference. So if we observe before entering into the condenser enthalpy is H2 and after it is HF2. So we have to take the enthalpy difference H2 minus HF2 multiplied by Ms that is the mass of the steam. So we have already calculated in the first question what is the mass of the steam. Then which is equal to heat gained by water. So heat gained by water MCP delta T. So M that is the mass of water that is unknown. CP specific heat that is given. It is, uh, it is given that 4.6 and the temperature difference. So temperature at inlet and outlet is given. So 30 minus 20 that is 10. So when we calculate this we will get the mass of water that is 925.91 kilogram per second. So this is the mass of water circulated and what is the question that is the what is the capacity of the pump for the circulation of water. So capacity of pump that is equal to mass uh, rate of mass of water that we have to flow here or rate of flow of the water then capacity of pump which is equal to 925.91 kilogram per second and this is the answer of second question. Now we will move to the third question. So for that we have to find out what is the temperature of steam. Now if we observe here temperature at the inlet of water 20 degree Celsius and outlet it is 30 degree Celsius. And at the pressure in the condenser that is 0 0.068 bar we have to find out what is the temperature of steam. Now enthalpy of the saturated water is known. So what is this enthalpy at saturated water that is 161.4. So at this enthalpy we will find out the temperature by using the temperature table. So here saturated water and steam temperature table is given and HF value we have to find out at uh, that is 161.4 so if we observe at the temperature of 38 it is 159.1 so we will consider that is the temperature is 38 point something but we will consider here the temperature is 38 degree so temperature of steam that is 38 degree so we will draw here two lines so here temperature of water at inlet so what is the temperature of water at inlet that is 20 degree celsius and temperature at outlet so here is 30 degree celsius and what is the temperature of steam? So temperature of steam remains constant at inlet and outlet. So we will take here as a 38 degree Celsius. So how to calculate LMTD? So LMTD that means log mean temperature difference. So for that we have to find out what is the value of theta i and theta o. So theta i is nothing but temperature of steam that is the difference in between this temperature of steam and TWI. So I will show here. So here this is the theta i. And theta o is nothing but the difference in between temperature of steam and TWO. So here is theta o. So this is the theta i and theta o. Now we will find out log mean temperature difference. So log mean temperature difference during the condensation process is 
थीटा आई माइनस थीटा ओ डिवाइडेड बाय लॉग ऑफ थीटा आई बाय थीटा ओ सो थीटा आई थर्टी एट माइनस ट्वेंटी एंड थीटा ओ थर्टी एट माइनस थर्टी डिवाइडेड बाय लॉग ऑफ थीटा आई दैट इज एटीन डिवाइडेड बाय एट सो वेन वी सॉल्व दिस वी विल गेट ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थर्टी फाइव डिग्री सेल्सियस नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज द सर्फेस एरिया ऑफ कंडेंसेशन सो फॉर दैट हेल्थ ओवरऑल हीट ट्रांसफर कोइफिशंट ऑफ मटेरियल इज ऑल्सो गिवन so here heat transfer in condenser process what is the formula so heat transfer during condenser process is given that is the mass of steam multiplied by the enthalpy difference that is h2 minus hf which is equal to mass of water multiplied by the specific heat multiplied by the temperature difference and which is equal to Overall heat transfer coefficient multiplied by surface area multiplied by L M T D. So L M T D that we have already calculated U O that is overall heat transfer coefficient is given and we have to find out this area A. So how to find out? So all these values are known M S H two and H F two. So when we put these values and we will put the value of U and L M T D. Then we will get the value of A. That is, area is equal to three fifty three point three meters square. And this is the answer of third question.